Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm on Moodle for Teachers. Today I'm going to show you how to create a certificate and get the information on it for a course that you're giving on a Moodle site. This is Moodle 3.9.2, and I'm using Fortson theme. So this is a course called, here it is, called Virtual Worlds MOOC 2020. And uh, the certificate is just a simple uh, activity. I'm using Simple Certificate, uh, which is a great activity. You can get the plugin, just ask your admin, or if you're an admin, just get it. Once I get it, uh, this is what I do. Let me just go back and show you where I came from. I came from uh, certificates. That's what I called this uh, particular section. Uh, the certificate is right here. I'm going to go into a uh, certificate of completion. Got two certificates one for the presenters and one for the participants so it doesn't matter if they're both uh, the same i'm going to go into the uh, presenters uh, just to show you very quickly what the process is so first thing i do is i need to create an image and uh, this is the image that i created notice it's a png all right for moodle it always works so uh, that's what I do, and then I'll need to upload it. Now, notice what I have here. I only have this information. I do this on Canva. It's completely free. Uh, notice this information is missing over here in the middle, and that's where the name is going to appear, depending, of course, on the uh, user. I could also add the name of the course, but I choose not to. I can always add that to the image. So uh, let me take you there by uh, removing this and going into the activities. So it's a um, simple certificate. Let me click on it. Right now it's uh, not enabled. It can only be enabled at the end after the 30th. And uh, there are a few restrictions. You can see there are a lot more restrictions up at the top for the participant. So let me click on that. I can go in, of course, because I have editing rights. I'm just going to go into the settings so you can see what it looks like. Notice I also have the option of uh, bulk operations. You can also test it, but that's not what we're after here. We're after how to create it. So I'm going to go into edit settings over here. So make sure you got that. Click on it. Wait a few seconds, and here it is. So uh, this is what I do. You can just follow my lead if you're interested, or you can try other things out. Don't worry about that. Uh, other things, uh, let me just open it up. So there is nothing in the introduction. I don't read, add anything here. So let me scroll down. I do add an image, and you saw the image that I added. It's right there. And then uh, this is what I add, username. Now, you get this information, so it's really not that difficult. You get the information if you go into show more okay this is where you need to enable all the information all right so it's um it's actually all here okay so if you go into the question mark you've got a list of um, the information that you want to get there so as if you want to get the username you just add it like that the way it is over here let me get that back here uh, so you add the username and then that you'll get the full username if you write the course name like that you'll get the full course name the grade and so on. all this information is available and that's sort of the code the time start um, that you can get i don't do all of that i just go for the username now where do you add the username notice you've got this information down here there's the width there's the height uh, the position okay this is how i position it and it works for me you can play around until you get it right if i go into the uh, html which is right here you'll get an idea of what it looks like if you want to follow my lead that's fine but otherwise just uh, go ahead and get it so notice what i have here uh, let me get that for you in case you want to use this for yourself right i'll add it in the description of this uh, video um, and that's it you save it and you're good to go. Now, I don't do the back, but you can have a certificate at the back and so on. You can also have a code. Take a look at that and decide if uh, that interests you. So if I go back to the certificate, let me just leave this page. Go back to the certificate. If I want to get the certificate, notice it's going to have my name on it right now because I'm the user right now. But if I go into another user, it'll be uh, with their names. 
So that's how it's done. There's my name the way it appears in my profile, and that's how it's done. So you saw it when it was just an image. Uh, there it is, just an image. Okay, and um, now you see it after. And that's what it's going to look like. So that's it. Um, please feel free to ask questions in the comment box and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. That really keeps me going. Have a great day.